We used three techniques to sublimate on trucker hats and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great, you should subscribe because uh, that's what we do here. Oh, hit that bell because we have a new video each week. This week we had a request from our friend Mike on how to sublimate on trucker hats. So in true Kim and Garrett fashion, we're taking it way too far. So <laughs> we're gonna show you lots of different, well, a few different techniques on a lots of different hats. We got some high polyester count hats. We got some cotton hats that we put dye pressed poly tea on. And then we have some cotton hats that we sprayed with acrylic spray paint. We ran a test on a t-shirt using each technique. We'll show you a close up and how they each looked on our test fabric. Let's see how they look on the hats. Yeah. So we'll start with putting our images in Microsoft Word and we'll print them out on our A-sub sublimation paper. Using our Epson Artisan 1430 printer that was converted with a continuous ink system. I'll show that right here. So let's go ahead and print those out and we'll start with the next step. All right, I got the images. We're all set. All right, let's just cut them for our hats. We're gonna cut them up so that they fit on the hats. So we'll start with what we think is the least likely to work, this acrylic spray. We read a lot of stuff that folks say it'll work for the sublimation, but we're gonna try it out. And we'll see how that works. I'm not sure. All right, so first hat will be our Kim and Garrett Make It logo on Garrett's flat bill using the acrylic spray. <clears throat> Do you want to tape this on, you think? Yeah, we'll get it on there. Let me do a pre-press. 15 second pre-press at 375. <sighs> Was a fast 15 seconds. Oh. Oh, that's about 15 seconds. That's man for you, so impatient. That's how we measure my 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, I think I've got that. Taped it down. All right, fingers crossed. And we're going in. <clears throat> 70 seconds. All right. All right, let's see how it worked. Oh. Not so great. Not so great. Looks like it wanted to go. We're having that same issue. Too tight? Too much pressure? No, it's not hitting in the crease there. So what can you put in there to help with that crease? I think that's gonna happen. Well, it's not gonna happen on these, but it is gonna happen on any of these with a seam. Mmm, the seam. I'll still wear it. You will not. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. This one has a seam too. Do you wanna try to so, put like a... Let's not try, yeah, let me think of something. Like, I saw somebody suggest. All right, we had issues with the seam on that one, so we're gonna try to plan for the seam on this one. We cut out these two silicone pieces. I'm gonna leave a gap. So we're finding that the hats with the seam in the front want to crinkle when you press it. They wrinkle inside, even if you pull it tight. All right, I don't think we're gonna do this one. 
because we can't get, can you see the wrinkle in there? No matter what we do to try to press it, there's a wrinkle. So we know it's gonna turn out like that. But the acrylic seemed to take to the material. Cotton fairly well. All right, let's see this one will straighten out. See, they got that crazy hump in there. I hear ya. Oh no, no, I can see it. Look. You can see it? Oh wow, that's bad. Don't even bother. That's just a mess. All right. All right, these must need to be. These hats don't work. What do we got? But these hats should be okay. There's no right. seam. No seam, so these hats should do fine. We got these off of Amazon, right? Yep. Pretty cheap, right. five or six bucks each. We'll do a pre-press. Oh, it <laughs> doesn't look like anything happened. Two-person job. Yeah, it's a two-person job. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Huh. So it works great, but you got to get that even pressing pressure. Yeah. Oh, you thought it would help. All right. Yeah, it worked okay. I think we need more pressure. Oh. You guys haven't done it yet. You guys should check out the Do It Projects channel over there with Simon and Anders. I don't know, that turned out good. I think it needed more pressure. That one turned out pretty good. Now we're gonna oh. do a shenanigans yes. hat. So this weekend is St. Patrick's Day and I want a hat to wear. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, is it moving? Dang, yeah, something happened. Oh, the shenanigans. Shenanigans was too long. Uh, it was too long for our press. All right, so we got some lessons learned. All right, I'll see if I can get close enough for you guys to see. I don't know if you can see it, but there, when you pre-press it, it wrinkles the, the hat. And I think it's because of the shape of the front of this thing it has an extra hump right here in the front, which is just causing the wrinkle. Now, unless I can put, all right, so let's try something else here. Just an idea. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Let's see if we can get that to do, give us any extra cushion. came out good. I'm impressed. All right, that is the, uh, that's this poly tea stuff. Oh, that one came out good. Yes, it's too hot to put on my head. No, do it. Yeah, looks good. Would you wear that? I'd wear that. <laughs> Would I wear that? Yeah, you'd wear that. <laughs> looks good. All right, let's try the other poly tea one now. Right, the wine. Or do you want to try the try the acrylic one again? Yes. Now, we got, now we got some little cushion. So what we did was we put a little um, polyester well wine wine glass holders wine koozies, and because they're small, we gave it a little more like pillowy cushion underneath of that, and I think that helped. So. 
definitely some lessons learned here. here. Pump plunger that pump. Ready? Yeah. That's a little crooked, you see that? It's a plunger handle. Okay. Uh, no, it looks good. It just was not, it didn't get in far enough. Tacos is too low. Same thing happened to shenanigans. Logos are too big. All right, it came out pretty good, but our logo was too big. Smooth. Hey, not bad. Uh, logo's a little big. All right, lesson learned. I made all the logos all right. too big. All the logos are a little too big. What happened is we measured the bottom pad to make sure the logo covered this bottom pad. We should have measured the top pad where the heat's coming from. Lesson learned. There you go. All right, so to wrap things up, here's what we've got. The acrylic spray works fairly well if you like that burnout look, but it does work. A little faded. A little faded, that's that burnout look. Uh, these polyester hats worked great. They had a nice flat surface, so they had the cushion and they had a nice smooth surface to put the sublimation ink on. Worked great. And then these last two, the poly tea chemical spray was excellent. The sh colors are nice and sharp. The challenge with these and the challenge with all of them in this hat press is the seam down the front. It doesn't give a nice, a very smooth surface. Yeah. So we found that little extra cushion, we put some foam kind of thing underneath of it to give it a little extra cushion and that helped. But the spray, the spray is excellent. Yeah, and I'd say baby. that's it. That's our collection of hats. <laughs> All right, good job, babe. Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.